Let's go ahead and stir the pot a little, shall we? Last Friday, 10 minutes before dismissal time, I decided to live stream my students helping me take my hair out. There was quite the discourse in the chat, which had people saying this was inappropriate, and other people saying this was completely fine, there was nothing wrong with what I was doing, and people were just making it weird. So of course, I had to bring this issue to the big stage. I would like to represent myself in this case, Your Honor, if I may. Number one, for a little context, I had a hair appointment immediately after school, and I needed my hair taken out beforehand. I would have taken it out the night before, but that Friday we had a camera crew coming in to shoot a promotional video, and I was one of the ones being interviewed, so I had to look presentable, so I didn't take my hair out. I didn't have the time to do it all myself, because it would have taken me forever, so naturally I asked about four or five of my over a hundred best friends to assist me in taking my hair out, and they all agreed. Number two, this was at the end of class. This week we were doing STEM fair presentations. Since it was Friday and all of my students did an excellent job on their STEM fair projects and presentations, I told them if we get one solid presentation in this class, I'll end class a little early and they can have fun and play basketball, darts, or be on their phones or whatever. And during that time, my team would help me take my hair out. A couple of these were students from my class, but others were students from other classes. I wrote all of them a pass at the beginning of the class period, requesting their assistance 10 minutes before dismissal. I told the teachers only send them if all of their work was completed and they had good behavior. They all met the criteria, so 10 minutes before dismissal, they showed up for the job. My next point I'd like to make is, if I was a female teacher, those people wouldn't be in the comments saying, oh, this is weird, this is inappropriate. Because me personally, I don't think there's anything weird about this. People are saying, oh, that's too intimate. To me, it's literally just hair. It doesn't have to be weird. Some people have never had cool teachers and it shows. I personally believe that building authentic relationships with students is paramount in being an effective teacher. I make sure my students know and can feel that I care about them beyond the schoolwork and all the stuff that I have to make them do. I take the time to get to know my students outside of academics because caring for the whole child is what's important. Some of these students have been with me since I was a substitute four years ago. They see me as a big brother or a father figure as some of them say. And me, I don't want kids of my own, so all of these kids are literally my children. And in case you're wondering about their parents, most of them follow me on social media and always talk about my videos with their kids. They always tell me that they're so grateful that their kids have someone like me in their life. In my admin, they're well aware of my social media presence and they love my videos. To me, this is just another wholesome moment that I'm having with my kids that I was fortunate enough to catch on film. Since I'm a science teacher, one thing that I teach my students about is symbiosis. Symbiosis deals with the relationships between organisms. The type of relationship that I like to foster in my class is mutualism or mutualistic relationship, which means both organisms benefit from the exchange. So when my students have good behavior, complete all their assignments, and do everything that a scholar is supposed to do, I reward them with downtime and just time to just be a kid, be on their phones, play games, gossip, so on and so forth. My students and I work hard and we play harder. I'm fortunate enough to have students that feel safe and comfortable around me, safe to come to me with their problems, their frustrations. They come to me seeking guidance and wisdom or come to me simply to chill and hang out because they know that they have a safe space to be themselves around me. What I strive to do as an educator is be the teacher I wish I had growing up. I strive to be the teacher that makes my inner child happy, someone that my inner child would be proud of. I want to be the teacher that my students reflect back on 20, 30 years down the line and think like, dang, that teacher I had in middle school, he was the shit. No further questions, Your Honor. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. You think this was inappropriate or people were making something out of nothing? And although you are entitled to your opinion, all I ask is that you be respectful. Thank you.